Hey, hello again scrappers. Welcome back. Well, with copper prices going up, uh, up in Canada, I believe they're getting over three dollars a pound. I thought I'd uh, give a, make a little video of how I tear these little dryers down. And one thing, sometimes these dryers are connected to steel pipe, so as you can see, magnet is sticking here on this end. So the first thing I'll do, I'll put it in the vise and I'll I like using a little die grinder. Uh, I don't remember if I got this one at Harbor Freight, but uh, you can pick them up pretty cheap, fifty dollars for a decent one, and you know Harbor Freight's got some I think for about eight or ten bucks. So first thing I'm going to do is just cut it right here, cut this end off. Cutting it on the on the angle, the bevel. So I don't want to lose too much copper because since that sticks to the magnet, I'm going to call that dirty copper. As you can see inside there, I don't know if you can see up in there or not how the good lighting is here, but uh, the magnet sticks right here, so there's a screen here, and then the magnet sticks right there, so there's a screen there. This end doesn't stick. So, sticking right there. Now, a lot of times those screens are brass. So sometimes you may get one that doesn't stick. But since I've already got this end cut, <laughs> like I said, many times the screens are brass, but it has a metal ring around the brass. Now these are full of little beads. So I have a trash can or something handy. that piece of screen. I hope I kept that in view. I'm not sure. I'll do another one. Sometimes I'll cut through this, cut through this even more where I can just fold it over. Needle nose, bend it apart wide. So as you can see, this part, the screen here, that does not stick. So that's probably brass. And then you got your metal piece there. This piece now is cleaned up, so it's clean number two. Like I say, you got all these little beads, a little piece of tin. Yeah, this one's a little longer. This end doesn't stick. This end does. I'm going to try to cut it right at the base there of the angle. Okay, 
it's not sticking now. So, looks like I got a little magnet right there in the magnetic spot. Right there, and right there. I got real, real close to the screen. So now, try to find out where the other one is. It's right there. I'm just going to break that piece off. Okay, it's right here. I got on the wrong side of the screen. I got beads falling out. Now I cut into the screen is what I did. There's the piece of screen there that just came out of there. And now I'll split it. Yeah, this is my... Uh, 10 hour day week so I'm running 10 hours I don't have too much workshop time so about an hour a night so with the tin prices up to 140 a ton I thought I'll try to get another load loaded this week hour a night is like I say not a lot of time but I got about two loads of appliances down in the field that I've already pulled the motors and wires out of so all I have to do is drag them up here and throw them on the trailer so I'll get this video done, start I'll go in the house, start uploading it, and then I'll get out there and try to load up what I can. Yeah, I just spread the, try to spread this apart a little bit and kick those out as I as I go. I said this one here is the metal, solid metal. So, and if you're not worried about that little bit of brass, which doesn't really amount to much, just toss it out of the way. But uh, that's one way to get those things clean, and uh, not much to it. Probably get them done a lot quicker if I wasn't talking. Of course, I'm using my new vise. I like it. So, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed the video. I would uh, appreciate if you're not a subscriber that you'd consider subscribing. And uh, I want to thank all my subscribers for bearing with me and watching. And I'm going to go ahead and call it quits on this video. And you guys, you know, get out there and make the money while it's to be made. You know, we don't know how long prices will be up. But uh, when you got scrapping in the blood, you're going to do it regardless of where the price is. And then we got full time scrappers out there that. This is what they're doing to make their living and feed their families. And uh, I know a lot of guys probably won't have time to do this until things slow down this winter. But I thought I'd give a video, a little refresher on that. I'm getting a, getting a few saved up here. So, if I save that for a rainy day or something when I can't get out there outside and work, I'm stuck inside the shop. So, we'll catch you guys later, and uh, happy scrapping, and get out there and make it while you can. Bye-bye.